Hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this time it's Crochet and Craft Soup video. I've got a few projects to show you, one from Crochet and a few from Crafts. Uh, not a lot of them are fully finished. Uh, I mean, I think actually none of them are like absolutely fully finished, but two are finished so that I can use them already. I just could perfect them and I will perfect them. And two, I've started, one is close to finishing, one I'll probably have to redo it. Um, and then uh, I've got some unboxing uh, to do. Uh, I have a new craft board, Winter 21. Well, no, Winter 2020. <laughs> and um, uh, the new Crochet Society uh, box. So I'll uh, do that at the end of the video. So if you want to just see the unboxing, uh, skip uh, the rest of uh, the video, but I hope you want to see my progress. Uh, first, uh, I want to show you my leg warmers or ankle warmers, and they're finished. <laughs> uh, I can use them, I have used them already, even though to be perfect, um, I'll have to weave in the ends, but for now I just couldn't find a needle with an eye big enough for it to go through mm, the thread. Uh, as you can see, they are different color <laughs> because um, the thread, the yarn, just changes color. Uh, and for some reason, uh, one looks longer than the other, probably because this one um, has been in use a bit longer, so it just stretched a little bit, but they have the same amount of rows, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, this one, though, is um, thinner or slimmer, although that you can't really see, but it is uh, three stitches slimmer. Maybe you can see it a teeny tiny bit. And this one is better. This one works better because this one is definitely too broad uh, and it maybe doesn't slip totally uh, from my legs and through my feet but um, it does sort of get to like half of my foot when I would only like it to just barely touch the floor. So I think I'll make another pair but probably next winter. Uh, also like three inches, three stitches uh, thinner because I think that will work even better. This this one, the thinner one, already works pretty well but I think three stitches thinner would be just great. And I'll link the pattern that I used for this uh, for slouchy leg warmers or ankle warmers. Uh, and in the pattern it says to measure your calf in the broadest part um, and I did that and uh, what I was supposed to do was even bigger than than this. So if you have legs that are maybe not as, I don't know how to call that, proportional, so your calves are quite thick and then your ankles are quite um, slim then maybe it's not the best way to go unless you really want your ankle warmers to stick um, and to go high up to your calves. I prefer my ankle warmers to just sort of slouch and, and just scoot them sort of around my ankle. So calf is really not the place to go for me. I only needed to get to reach like the upper part of my leg to sort of get it up my, my leg. Mm, but then I scoot them down, so uh, I had to like redo uh, the amount of stitches. But the rest of the pattern works really, really well, so if you want to use it, I'll link it for you to see and um, try it on. Uh, the second thing that is close to finishing, although not yet finished by any means, is the summer 2020 uh, craft pot. This is the embroidery part. And what I have left to do is the bullion stitches uh, here. 
right now they work kind of um there are some problems here with the bullion stitch uh it is quite a difficult stitch for me um but uh, that's the only thing i have left to do all the other flowers are stitched embroidered and uh, i think um for the zip pouch that is the other project uh in the craft board i'll stitch those flowers i like them better than daisies i think these are called daisies um but i'll have to see if this dark green that is used um will actually be seen because i think the the fabric that is used is quite dark quite a dark green let me have a look yeah it is a dark green so i'm not sure if this green will uh show up uh so i might have to change the the green but i just like these flowers better than these um there's just uh, i prefer the color most of all um it's purplish blue which i like um so i like the color more than than the daisies so i think i'll stick to these flowers and maybe just change the shade of the green to make those okay the third project that i consider finished although it needs perfecting is a stitch marker making a stitch marker was one of the things i wanted to learn in 2020 uh and finally i had actually the time to learn how to do that um and the thing that needs work let me see if this will yeah uh sharpen uh, is filing or cutting this part of the wire because this is the um I don't really know what's it called, but this is this wire that you stack your beads onto and it has this flat edge. And then I had to curl it so that, you know, it attaches to the eyering and then to the lobster clasp. And uh, I managed to cut some part of the wire. <laughs> um, but well as you can see it's it's not really well done it scratches and it's just not in the right place uh as i can see there's already something happening to the jump ring it's not closed properly so i'll have to um correct that as well but uh for my first go i consider it as excess also as i realized i didn't actually order any of those wires uh, that you use for putting your beads onto. Um, luckily, um, I ordered some packs of beads. Uh, they were like on sale totally, like huge bags of, of beads that are completely out of any kind of order. Uh, some of the things inside are actually bent uh just you know not any kind of collection and there there were some some of those wires so i could use those but they were usually kind of bent so they are not perfect but for a first try i like it it will get better next year <laughs> because i will be doing more of those um or just try some jewelry maybe um with this uh but for now it's good and um i can use it as long as i file this down and make it smooth ending because i wouldn't like it to catch on my yarn and the last project is the flat komihimo Flat Komihima was also something I wanted to learn in 2021. But 
um, I bit more than I can chew with this one uh, because I ordered a beaded one and the unbeaded one, as you can see, looks great. I've learned how to do that. But the beaded part just... It's a mess. It's like, I don't know what happened here and... As far as I can tell, I'm doing everything according to the written instructions. And I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's not supposed to look that way. So I'll have to watch the video um, on how to do that. And that's why I haven't uh, taken it out of um, the disc. So that uh, if I learn what I did wrong and I decide I can, you know, make it better, I will just undo the moves that you do and hopefully I'll get to, like, this part and, uh, and redo it and this time do it well. Because I think the first looks good, the first bead looks good. Then I don't know what happens. But since the flat kumihimo itself, just the rope or the wire, looks great. Uh, I don't know what it does not to focus. Oh, there it is. Looks great. So I'm sticking with that. I learned how to do the flat kumihimo. Um, and I'll just perfect it next year. Okay, and now uh, let me show you the craft uh, pod and the crochet society boxes uh, and you'll see what's there and I'll see what's there. Let me show you the crochet society box. It's um, Christmas themed, as you can see there's reindeer in there. And let's see what's inside, because the outside is very Christmassy. And the cover says, "'Tis the season to get crafting." So that's also uh, quite Christmassy, I'd say. Okay. Oh, Highland Heathers. That's a new type of yarn. I haven't had that before. Okay, the stuffing um, doesn't have... <laughs> Uh, packaging. I think uh, they said last time um, that they had complaints about the num the amount of plastic used, so they decided to uh, limit that. Although I'm not sure if that's the best idea, because um, this stuffing is kind of. Yeah, I'm afraid it's just going to get. Um, unraveled kind of and it's going to just bits and bits and pieces are going to go to places I don't want them to go okay so the yarn is Highline Highland Heathers and um, it's a uh, an acrylic yarn DK weight so double knit and the shade is wild salmon oh and as you can see there's this bit of <laughs> uh, this stuffing. Just um, let me take that first. Uh, okay, so we've got... Is that a cookie cutter? Um, choking hazard. No, choking hazard. Yay, it's a cookie cutter. Okay. And that... That is a plastic ball. I'm guessing it can be made into like a Christmas ornament later on, so we'll see how that works. And there's also shiny silvery thread. Maybe let's put those in here so that they don't get lost. This is oh this is cute uh a stitch marker very cute even though it's pink and i'm not a big fan of pink it's still cute so they're very nice 
this is a notepad oh yes that is great made by size fiber care that's fantastic you can just you know tag this to a present or if you sell your makes i guess you can also add that to whatever you've made and just give information about how to take care of it and what it is fantastic idea this is really great uh, i mean i often forget <laughs> what that was made of and how to take care of the yarn so that's a really good idea and this one is grist i've never heard of such a color or shade um uh, but it is grayish gray brownish beigeish <laughs> um it uh it's not a th i don't think it's just like one color it's um like shades different shades here and there like one part of the yarn is a bit more brownish and the other is a bit more grayish so kind of like color changing yarn then we've got the hook 3.25 and that's a nice grip onto it and it's glittery so again a bit more Christmas uh, feeling that is, uh, I don't know, oh, safety eyes. Okay, so this is how they decided to go now in a paper bag. Stickers made with love and lovingly hate made for you. Great idea again, uh, especially just before Christmas. Um, okay, this is again the card with hook conversion um, and guide to crochet terms. Some envelopes, I guess, to put your cards in. And I think these are cards that you can put in those envelopes. Yes, these are cards that you can just fill in. Yeah, this is, this is really great. Um, like, wow, I mean, <laughs> oh! Okay, um, I think this is the best box ever uh, that I've had. And I think I've had it for a year now because I think I ordered my first Crochet Society box in January or maybe February this year. And this is the best box um, right now. It's really Christmassy, but not like out in your face Christmas, although... Yes, Christmas card are <laughs> Christmas cards are Christmassy, obviously. But all the gifts, all the things that you get in here, I've really well thought they can be used for Christmas, those gift tags or stickers, but they don't have to. And look at this, this is super cute. And of course you can hang it on your Christmas tree, but oh my god, this is so cute, like really wintry scarf the littlest reindeer and frosty motifs how on earth can i choose which one to make i want to make all of them like really this is the best box so far wow i'm amazed at what they've come up, come up with i mean i will usually like their boxes um there's always something you can find for yourself but i think this is like a complete box um there's really nothing that i wouldn't use which is wow fantastic it's it's really wow like bella coco and crochet society um really hats down absolutely amazing box and um just wow i guess i have to say that again wow really great box um i'll check the number for it if you still want to see if you can uh order it i think it's box 19 but i'll check and uh write it down absolutely fantastic uh so go and uh 
try getting it <laughs> as well. It's really great. Okay, uh, this is the craft board winter 2020 that, that I want to show you. Um, okay, these pieces of paper are not liking me too much. And what have we got here? Graceful beauty of swans. Um, hmm. So felt swans, handy needle minder. Yes. Oh my God! Like <laughs> those Christmas boxes. Um, sort of are like filling my wish list of things that I would like to get. Is this please be needle minder? Yes. <sighs> I wanted that, but uh, in my country, needle minders are not really very popular, so it's very difficult to find those. Uh, so, yeah, so um, I never had an opportunity to get one. Um, I'm looking for a needle, so I want to see um, how it actually works. Uh, if it's, you know. I can never open those things. Sorry. Yes, there is a needle. And... <laughs> it works! Wow, I mean, it is beautiful. That's the first thing. It is really beautiful with those this one here. It's really pretty. It's super practical. Um, oh, um, it's going to get a lot of use uh, in my house because <laughs> I keep losing needles. Um, I have made a needle like cushion uh, also from one of the craft boxes and it's great but um, it's mostly good for needles that I don't work with at the moment that I'm not using <laughs> and the, the the needle that I'm actually using at the time is usually just gets lost somewhere so this is fantastic like from the start of the box great uh, um, wonderful wonderful this, I guess, is uh, the filling of something we will be making. The tea is Revive Me. Um, that's really, again, something I could use uh, probably more of. But let's see. White tea with Moringa. Never heard of that. Cinnamon. Not too sure of that. I'm not a big fan of cinnamon. Rose hip and ginseng okay okay uh white tea moringa cinnamon rose hip lemongrass spearmint nettle and ginseng so really uh very organic and very healthy sounds like we'll see how it tastes later on um so there are five DMC threads, as usual, there are five or six. There's blank and a few other colors. Um, and gold, very metallic. Um, Anchor. Lame. Oh, does have a different feel than a usual thread. We'll see uh, what we'll be making out of that. There's a piece of felt, uh, a hoop as usual, 
a card and this is what we'll be making felt swans so there should be white felt as well excuse me are we making three projects this time wow okay so these this is the felt for the swans there this is the fabric i guess from for the embroidery and felt swan pattern okay so these are the felt swans winter swan and wreath embroidery um looks really interesting i think that's we'll be using this small piece of felt here for those pine cones oh this is going to be super interesting to make and pine cone ginger biscuits oh that's also great uh ginger biscuits are really christmasy but the shape of them the pine cone i mean of course there's the association with the christmas tree um but it just it's not like in your face christmas wow again great i'm not really a baker so <laughs> i'm not sure if i'm ever going to make those uh but the other projects with pleasure with pleasure of course they'll have to wait because as usual um i still have a few things from the craft pods to make from the previous ones uh there's summer to finish and there is autumn to start um and then the winter ones but oh my god a fantastic box ah really um those two boxes that i had the crochet society box and the craft pot for winter 2020 um great end of a really terrible year i think um i mean even even if the year was was normal those boxes would be great but i think th this is how all of us would want to finish this year with something great something really beautiful nice and just joyful just like christmas usually are so uh thank you crochet society thank you craft pod fantastic boxes um i can't wait to start doing those so hopefully next time i'll be able to show you some some of the makes uh at least from the crochet society box uh because from the craft pod, uh, i don't think i'll get there but um i'll definitely be using the, the needle miner i love it okay let's move on Okay, so here are all the things that I had to show you this week. Um, I haven't done much in my happy planner, that's why I'm not showing it to you this time. Uh, but I think uh, I did quite a lot of crafts, so uh, you could see a lot of the things that I do. Uh, next video will be as it should be on the 28th of December however I'll probably have to record it before Christmas uh, because I'm leaving to my parents and I won't be able to record there so probably there won't be as much progress because I'll have to uh, record it basically next week so I'll have just a week and a bit to work on all the projects uh, but I should be finished with this with the embroidery um and um i should start with the zip pouch from summer craft pod hopefully i will make some progress on the kumihimo also <laughs> so i'll be able to show you what i did with it and how it went better let's hope um and maybe i'll think of something to do for mm, crocheting maybe i'll use actually this um this little animal that you put in this plastic bowl and do that as a christmas ornament we'll see 
uh, hopefully I'll also finish the Christmas bubble that I made last floss tube video but I still need to find the styrofoam ball to actually stick it to so that's not yet done <laughs> but maybe it will um, uh, okay so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you want to uh, see my progress uh both in the crochet craft uh part and also in the cr cross stitch because i also do that consider subscribing to my channel and just see what's going on um soon there will be the video sort of summing up what happened in 2020 uh, a year as a whole uh, there'll be analytics and the showing of my work all the works that I finished and worked on throughout the year so you might want to see that as well <laughs> and um, thank you for watching hopefully see you next time bye